Welcome to the TI Inspire CX2 student course. There are more than 30 lessons in this course, ranging from navigating your handheld, to inserting images, and creating a locus. You can access the entire series from the Texas Instruments Australia website. In this session, we'll look at what's in the box and what you need to get started, including calculator setup, software installation, and updating your calculator's operating system. So let's get started. There are three very important items in the box. The first one is your TI Inspire calculator. It comes with a protective lid. Make sure you slide it on whenever your calculator is not in use. The second item is your TI Inspire software license card. Inside, you'll find your unique software license number. Make sure you keep this safe. The software allows you to create, edit and save TI Inspire files on your computer, transfer them to your calculator, update the operating system and use your computer to charge your calculator. The third item is the calculator to computer cable. You'll need this to help charge your calculator, update your operating system and of course, transferring files. Let's start with your calculator. When you first turn the calculator on, you can set the language. I'll select UK English. Next, I'll set the font size to medium. My calculator is now ready to use. We'll check up on the operating system later. Next, we'll download and install the software. The website is listed on the back of your calculator. You can either add the country name or select it from the site link in the top right corner of the web page. Hover over the Products tab and select Computer Software. Select the software that corresponds to your license, in this case, the TI Inspire CX Student Software. Select the software that matches your computer, PC or Mac. Once the download is complete, you're ready to install. So launch the installation file and follow the prompts. Once the software has installed, start it up and activate your license. Use the license number from the software card. Select your region, read and accept the license conditions, and the software will communicate with the Texas Instrument Server and activate your license automatically. If the server is unable to communicate with your computer, you may need to check the settings on your computer or activate the software license manually. Now that your software is installed, adjust the view to suit your needs. There's a follow-up lesson that introduces some of the features on the software. Now, connect your calculator to the computer using the USB cable. As this is the first time your computer has seen the TI Inspire calculator, it may take a few moments to recognise it. Once it has, click on the yellow Contents Explorer folder in the toolbox. The top window in the Explorer folder represents your computer. The bottom window is for your calculator. Select your calculator. Mine's got lots of files on it already. I'll open up the wavy lines file on my calculator by double clicking. This file contains a cool program written by a friend of mine. Now the file is on my computer, I can make changes to it. Save it to my computer or save it back to the calculator. If you download a TI Inspire file from the internet, you'll now be able to open it on your computer and save it to your calculator or email it to someone else. Finally, let's check the operating system on the calculator by pressing the Home button, Option 5 for Settings, followed by Option 4 for Status. 
If the software version on your calculator is older than the one that you've just downloaded, you can update it using your computer. Click on the small cog and select Install OS. Select the operating system and follow the prompts. The process only takes a minute or so. If your calculator battery is not fully charged, leave it connected to your computer whilst you explore the software. That way, the battery will continue to charge. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the rest of the series. Thanks for watching.